In this lecture, I will show you a hardware demo of the second order low pass filter using oscilloscope and the function generator on my bench. Here is a picture over my bench including a digital oscilloscope by Rigo, a function generator by HP, and a breadboard with both first order and the second order low pass filters. Channel 1 is for input sinusoidal voltage. The peak to peak voltage is 10 volt. I will gradually increase the frequency. Channel 2 is the output at the first order low pass filter. Channel 3 is the output at the second order low pass filter. All channels are at 2 volt per division in the beginning. The measurements shown on the screen gives the frequency of channel 1 and the peak to peak voltage on each channel. As you can see on the screen, when the frequency is 10 Hz, three channels are overlapping each other and have similar magnitude and zero phase shift. Now I will begin to increase the input frequency. You can rely on the reading of measurement as frequency 1 on the screen. Right now, the frequency is 100 Hz. As the frequency increases, you can see the difference between channel 2 and channel 3. At 1 kHz or above, the difference becomes more significant. The second order low pass filter in channel 3 has smaller magnitude and more phase lagging compared with channel 2. The reason has been explained in the previous lectures. As I gradually increase the frequency, you can see the difference between channel 3 and channel 2 becomes more and more significant, and the phase difference between channel 2 and channel 1 is almost 90 degrees. Now channel 2 and channel 3 are in 500 millivolt per division. Notice that channel 3 has more and more attenuation as frequency increases, since it has two poles in the transfer function that has a magnitude slope at minus 40 dB per decade. That's all for the demonstration of sinusoidal input voltage. Next, I will show you the second demonstration, having a square waveform as the input voltage, which is changing from 0 volt up to 10 volt with duty cycle at 50%. Right now, the input frequency is at 10 Hz. After we zoom in on the scope, it shows the step response of the first order and the second order low pass filters. Apparently, the second order filter is much slower than the first order. I keep increasing the input frequency. The low pass filter becomes more and more lagging than the input and it cannot follow the input change instantaneously. Channel 3 has more lagging than channel 2. Another way to look at this is that channel 3 has much more time constant, and it is much slower than channel 2. At channel 3, if the frequency is higher and higher, it has more and more attenuation at output. The output voltage at the second order low pass filter in channel 3 is approaching its average voltage with a smaller and a smaller ripple voltage. Apparently, the second order low pass filter is more effective in the filtering than the first order. This shows a particular application that uses the second order low pass filter as a digital to analog converter. The digital PWM signal is converted to a nearly constant voltage using the second order low pass filter.
Thank you for watching the hardware demonstration. See you next time.